So here are some pathways that are there and these pathways are something we recommend again based on what else you are doing apart from doing this program. So if you are a full time student and you want to dedicate all your time to study this, this is your primary degree, you are not doing any other college degree along with this, we would say go for the fastest path. So you can do four courses in one term, four courses in another term and then you can complete your foundation level in two terms itself. That is shown in the rightmost column, you can see there the fastest path. But you have to spend about 40 hours per week. So think of it like a full time college you are doing morning 9 am to 6 pm, you are going to be sitting and studying, watching videos, solving assignments, submitting them, attending the live sessions. This is what you will primarily do. So we say it is about 40 hours per week. But if you are a student in a college right, and doing another degree, this may not be the most convenient for you. In that case, we will say go maybe for the medium pace and you can complete your foundation level in three terms. So the first term you can do maybe three courses, second term three courses and the third term you can do two courses. In this case also you will need more hours to be spent per week which is about 30 hours per week. So assume you are going to college during the weekdays, every evening you might have to study for two or three hours and make up for it in the weekend. But maybe this pathway will be good for you. But again we would say if you are coming from a non-programming, non-maths background, we have a lot of students from non-maths, non-programming backgrounds who are maybe doing like uh, English programs, maybe history programs, maybe commerce programs and so on. For you all the foundation can be completed in four terms. So basically you do two courses per every term and that is how you progress in the program. One thing that all of you should remember is there is no problem if you go slow, your friend is going fast, somebody else is going at a medium pace. This program allows you to decide at what speed you will study from the program. This is one of the biggest advantages, the flexibility that it gives you to study based on your background, based on what else you are doing. So that is something that you have to decide on how much time you have, what is the background you have, how many courses you can cope and then decide on the pace you want to keep in the program. So these are the suggestions we have, the order of courses you can take and you can choose based on whatever your background is.